What's up guys, Philip here bringing you a comparison video and today we're going to be comparing the regular Logitech MX keys versus the Logitech MX keys for Mac. When Logitech announced the Mac version of this keyboard, they also announced a Mac version of the MX Master 3 mouse. If you want to see my comparison video on that, I'll leave a link down in the description below. So both of these keyboards are quite identical in many ways. However, there were some differences and I found that there were four primarily differences. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So you've probably already noticed the first difference and that is going to be the color. On the original MX keys, it's going to be in this black finished graphic material and on the Mac version it's going to be finished in the Mac spray space gray color that's going to match the rest of your Mac products. The top black bars on both of these keyboards were also slightly different. The regular MX keys had a slightly blue color to it and it had texture and a little bit of sparkles to it. And the Mac version is finished in a matte black material and there's no textures or sparkles or anything like that. It has a more cleaner look. The second difference between the both of these keyboards is going to be the keyboard layout. On the original MX keys you're going to have keyboard icons printed on the keycaps and they're going to have icons for both Mac and Windows, but the Mac version is only going to have keyboard icons designed for Mac specifically. And on the screen here, I highlighted which keys are different on the Mac version compared to the regular MX keys. Now, just because the Mac version of the keyboard doesn't have any window key icons, that doesn't mean that it won't be compatible with Windows computers. If you go on the Logitech website, you can see that it shows that the Mac version of the keyboard is not compatible on Windows computers. However, I did connect this thing to my Windows computer and it connected via Bluetooth just fine. And then I also installed the software to test out the custom customization settings and all of those worked flawlessly on a Windows computer as well. So in terms of functionality, both of these keyboards are going to function exactly the same even though the Mac version says that it's not compatible with Windows. Now the next difference between the both of these keyboards are going to be the cables. The regular MX keys is going to come with a cable that connects via USB-C to the keyboard and then the other side of the cable is going to be a regular USB-A cable. The cable on the Mac version is going to connect also with USB-C to the keyboard and on the other end of the cable it's also going to be USB-C. So you're not going to have the option to connect with USB-A with the Mac version of this keyboard. To me I found it a little bit strange that they included a USB-A dongle and a USB-C charger. I wish Logitech would have come up with like a USB-C wireless dongle, that would have been pretty cool. Now the fourth difference between the both of these keyboards isn't really something that has to do with the keyboards, it's more from a marketing perspective and that's going to be the packaging. If you look at the packaging on the regular Logitech MX keys, you can see that it has like this dark vibe with the Logitech brand colors. The Mac version of the keyboard is going to look very Apple-like, it's going to be white using Apple brand colors and I believe this is a big deal for Logitech because imagine if you were to walk into the Apple store and you saw the Logitech MX keys packaging there you could see that it doesn't really fit in with the rest of Apple's product design or at least with their packaging however if you were to stick the new packaging design with the Mac version of this keyboard it would blend right in and it would feel like this keyboard is a part of Apple's ecosystem so my guess is that this was more from a marketing perspective on Logitech sense so that they can get more Apple users to use Logitech products so if you already have the regular Logitech MX keys it's not worth it to upgrade to the Mac version because this one's already going to be compatible with Mac and it's going to have the Mac key indicators on the keycaps. The only difference that you're going to get pretty much is the color and if you really want the color then I suppose you can get an upgrade but you're not going to get any new features or anything like that. However if you don't have any of these keyboards and you're thinking of picking one up both keyboards are going to be 100% compatible on Windows and Mac. The only difference is the Mac version is going to recharge with the USB-C cable. So make sure if you want this one, the Mac version, that you do have a USB slot cable available on your computer. With all that being said, if you want to know more about this keyboard, I did a full review on it going through the customization settings as well as the build quality and whatnot. I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description below. I'll also leave my comparison video between the regular MX Master 3 mouse as well as the MX Master 3 
for Mac version of the mouse. If you want to see that video, all of that is going to be down in the description below. And with all that being said, if you want to know what's happening in the tech world, make sure you click that subscribe button and I'll keep you in the loop. Don't forget to like this video and leave your comments down below. See you next time.